Hi everyone, Ultramarine Captain Pool here and in this video I'm going to be showing off three more lino prints which I've done and uh, these were done weeks ago at like, like some time after I did the Ultramarine shoulder plate and um, for this time for these three I did three successor chapters and uh, I'm going to show them to you now before explaining which which colours I used and also the stress of printmaking. So let's begin. So as you can see this is, uh, is the uh, Genesis chapter and um, the colours I used for this was um, was brilliant red and um, this is of course like the uh, watercolour um, no not, not watercolour, the water based ink which I used for the ultramarine shoulder plate and um, for the trimmings and the uh, the um, symbol I used um, black block printing ink And as you can see, it represents the uh, Genesis Chapter 5th Company. And um, the red, which I went with, actually works really well, because you can see how solid it is, and like how vibrant. Yeah, so that was that's the uh, Genesis Chapter. Now on to the next one. This is the Nova Marine shoulder plate. And uh, what I did here is that um, I mixed um, Cobalt Blue uh, relief ink with um, Brilliant Blue ink. It's because the reason why I've done that is because the uh, Nova Marines, the blue they use is a quartered cobalt blue, so I thought I might, instead of directly using the cobalt blue, I might uh, mix it with another blue, like a darker blue, and so I got this result. I also used black for the um, symbol, and also a, uh, I made a bone white. I mixed um, this white with the um, ochre relief ink, but I haven't brought, I haven't got it here to show you. But I am giving you the idea. And yeah, this was this was quite a struggle because the lino I was using, not all of it was inked. Certain patches just kept drying up. I encountered this problem with the ultramarine shoulder plate. I don't I really don't know why that happens. If you're someone who uses lino, let me know, let me know down in the comments if you if you know why this happens. Anyway, on to the next shoulder plate. For silver skulls. And um yeah, this was um, okay. It, it, it had a lot of the um, constantly evaporating parts of a lino, but it just it kind of works out well. <clears throat> and um, what I did for the silver skulls, the colour I, I used was of course the uh, bl black block printing ink, and. Um, I, and that's for the um, shoulder plate area, the main part. And for the uh, silver details, I mixed it with the white relief ink, which I've uh, put in here for future uses. Hopefully, it's still wet. So yeah, those are the um, three successor chapter shoulder plates, and. Um, I've already mentioned 
uh, I think I've already started mentioning it, how like the stress of printmaking can often occur and um, it's quite common because because um, like when I was at college I was trying to like get every detail in effect which is why when I made this ultramarine um, like space marine helmet which resembles the centurion helmet this is actually printed on metal where I, I base printed the uh, ultramarine blue then I started to use like paper stencils for the uh, two eyes and the uh, the helmet decor which is I think what it's called yeah and um, it came out well even though little bits of the ultramarine blue still slipped through as you can see there but hey at least it turned out well so yeah this was my video on um, successor chapter shoulder plates I hope you enjoy let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next otherwise like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and march from a crag with me. Bye, bye.